you know, today, today I'm going to be talking about cars, cars, especially, you know, this is a new channel. I haven't really had the chance to post on here yet, but I am smashing down a packet of salt and vinegar chips from Aldi. And they're really good. Really good. Honestly, like, it's almost like Red Rock Deli, but better. Except it's not $7 a packet. It's $3. But anyways, the point of this video today is that cars are extremely expensive and I feel sorry for like guys who are trying to, you know, get into actually buying cars. Um, I was keeping it real. Like, right, let's look on my let's go let's go on the marketplace. Let's have a look. Like the cars that used to be affordable are no longer affordable at all. Um, let's go EK Civics, for example, used to be the absolute, you know, shit boxes of the shit boxes, but fun car, love the Civics, had a couple of them myself, fucking awesome cars, but to even get one in somewhat decent condition these days is basically impossible. So let's, let's look at this. We got one here, 7,500, like this to me is ridiculously expensive. And he's even got the fake Type R badge on it. It's a nice looking car. It's pretty clean. But for seven and a half grand, I, I don't think so. He wants to sell or swap. <laughs> mm, what's he want to swap for? Honda Accord Euro Civic FD Mark V GTI. <sighs> okay. I mean, in my opinion, the Honda Accord Euro is a lot much... Sorry, it's a lot better choice than... And, you know, an EG or an EK Civic. But what I don't understand is like, you're asking for like seven and a half grand and yet you can't even be bothered to take more than two photos. This is the total photos, guys. The total photos, two, two photos, right? It's just unbelievable. This here, this Civic right here, 2,600. In my opinion, considering today's marketplace, this is a good deal right? 2,600. And I would argue that you could probably flip this car and make a little bit of money. Like, um, you know, I flipped a few civics. Normally I picked them up under two grand and I can flip them anywhere from, I, well, it was four to five K. Nowadays, you'll probably struggle to sell it for like, I don't know. I'd say three and a half is a realistic number. This one here is priced at 2,600. Not a bad car, no pictures again. I really do not understand why people cannot be bothered just fucking taking a few photos. I don't get it, man. I really don't get it. It's frustrating. Just keep looking down. Like, you'll find, look, okay, what's this one? That's eight grand. Eight grand for this. Okay, but by the way, like, um, I really can't do it with the, like, you know, the jump scenes and the edits and shit. Like, I'm just, I, man, I've got another channel, right? I've got another channel. It's like a MIG channel channel and I've got 2,400 subscribers on it. And like, I just got so fucking tired of posting the same shit all the time. Like, I'm trying to switch it up. So I made this channel. So I've got this channel here, which is basically about shit that I'm actually interested in doing. Like, you know, like car shit. I like car stuff guys. Like, yeah. It's weird. There's no no subs on this channel yet. I, got, I think I had two subs because I posted like one short. Let's look at this Civic anyways. Let's look at this Civic. This, this is actually looks really sweet. I don't know if this is a um, wrap or not. I'm just reading. Okay, let, I'm, I'm going to read the thing because obviously um, I didn't capture enough screen here. But um, it has BC coilovers, right? New tires. Uh, Avid spoon reps. I guess that's the wheels. Um... Type R front, rear lips, wing and grill. It's got new tint, new speakers, new head unit, Walpine intake, skunk muffler and silencer. And um, 
yeah, it doesn't have a roadworthy, which it probably wouldn't even pass a roadworthy at this point just because of the fact it's got a bunch of aftermarket parts. But okay, let's have a look at the Civic. Let's see. All right, let's look at this. We got it from a far photo. Looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, it's a clean car. It looks really nice. I like the color. Um, but it's an auto. <sighs> that sucks, man. That sucks. Yeah, ain't gonna get that much money for an auto, man. There's just no chance. And I'm not trying to shit on the car. Like, you know, I love all cars, man. Like, I'm mostly a Euro guy. Like, I love my old BMWs. I've got two E36s, one E46. And I got a E46 convertible that I'm, you know, parting out at the moment. I've got a few different cars. Um, personally, I will always love my Euros, but I gotta say, I do like the Civics. I do like the um, Honda Accord Euros as well. I think they look pretty sick. Uh, especially with like, you know, sports kits and all that shit on them. I think they look really old, like really nice, man. Um, this car doesn't look bad though. <laughs> I like the, the toys in the back. <laughs> the, that's okay. That's cool. I, I would hope that the car at least comes with the, with the plush toys, right? I mean, that looks pretty cool. Man, I'm fucking, I need, I need to pour a tea. I need to pour a tea. Man, I know this fucking, you can't really see it, but Jasmine, Jasmine tea, Jasmine tea. Man, guys, you gotta get onto the Jasmine tea. This shit's fucking amazing. I love tea, love tea. So this, this, this is nice, man. This fucking tea cup. <laughs> uh, normally I just brew like a um, massive jug and I'll chuck it in the fridge, make it icy and shit. But um, yeah, I love tea. Anyway, check this. So looking nice, not a bad. So I guess it's, I thought it was wrapped, but it looks like it is a original factory yellow color canary yellow of some sort I'm guessing I don't don't quote me on colors man I don't know shit about fucking colors and painting okay what have we got here this one looks nice 9500 though really reaching it's got uh, max speeding rods coilovers now I've got nothing against max speeding rods but if you're going to be asking 9500 for a Honda EK Civic you should at least put some BC coilovers, man, like at least put some fucking proper coilovers, like, um, like, come on, man, uh, full exhaust system, new brake plate, uh, AC heater, blasting cold hot, okay, that, that's like, that should be the bare minimum, um, he's open to swaps, mm-hmm, Look, I don't know a lot about Civics, man. I'm not going to lie. Let's look at the E36s. Let's go look at my favorite car. Let's have a look. What have we got? What can we buy nowadays, guys? 4,500. What do we get for 4,500? Is this looks like a compact? Ah, oh, yeah. No thanks. <laughs> not really into the compacts, personally. Hmm... 6500 will now only get you a 318 these days with a non M Sport body kit. That's rough, man. Ugh. Door cards fucked. It's a four banger. <laughs> At least it's manual. But honestly, this car is not worth 6500. This car is worth max three grand, in my opinion. Not even that. I wouldn't pay more than three grand for it. I probably would barely want to pay more than two and a half. It's a 318. And it's hardly even looked after. It kind of looks like trash. I'm not going to lie. It's just amazing, like, the, the prices that people are asking for, for cars. And that won't sell. It won't sell. These cars will not sell because people don't have the money. People don't have the money to put towards these cars anymore. And it's really sad because 
you know, I got lucky, man. Like I bought, I bought my 323 E36. Uh, it's a sedan manual, you know, 2.5 liter, full M Sport OEM body kit, everything black, sick car. Um, I do wraps as well. So I wrapped the car myself, I wrapped it like a blue color. And I picked that up for $700 back in the day. Now I learned to work on my cars through that car. So I learned everything I know about cars so far on that E36 and ventured out into other cars like Civics and I got my E46 as well. I still prefer the E36 over the E46, but I've grown to love the E46 more and more as I've driven it. I picked up a 330Ci E46 for, what was it? I think 2,500 and I put about fucking probably three, four grand into like getting it up to spec. It was not looked after. Um, I'll show you guys my cars soon, but unfortunately it's an automatic. Um, and then I picked up a E36 328 Boston Green Coupe, non M Sport body kit, auto though picked it up for three grand which in my opinion was a very good price at the time uh can't get prices like that anymore good luck finding a 328 for three thousand dollars it's impossible like honestly if you if you're in america man and you're watching this video like you are so lucky i'm not even kidding like you have so many fucking cars like this for like dirt cheap i've seen i've been looking on the american marketplace and i've seen like e36s going for like fucking three, four grand. You can even find M3s for like seven grand. Like literally over here in an M3, it costs you like 30, 35 grand minimum now. I'm not even kidding. Good luck finding an M3 E36 for like less than 20 grand. It's fucking happen. Ah, oh, fuck, I love this tea. I don't know why solid video makes my nose fucking itchy. Anyway, I wouldn't pay 6500 for this. This is fucked. If you're going to sell a 318 for 6500, at least fix the fucking interior. Like, this is trash. I'm sorry, this is fucking trash. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even, a oh, fucking piece of shit car. I wouldn't fucking buy it. What else have we got? Six grand, three two five manual, E forty six. It's a good price, uh, for what it is in today's market in Australia. It's a good price. Is it a good price in general? Fuck no. But it's a good price for what it is. Mm, and apparently it's mechanically A1, or so the guy says. Mm. Hey, bro. <laughs> What'd you do? 3.5? No, 3, 3K. Let's do 3K. Bro, if, if he accepted my 3K offer, I would fucking go and pick it up tomorrow. I'm not even kidding. If he accepted my offer, I would, I would literally pick this car up tomorrow. I think it's not bad for what it is. 325 manual, 3.5, for 3K, I would do it. I'll fucking buy it right now. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. I'm serious. Fucking interesting eyes, man. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Let's go once. 1,500 for a... M40 manual conversion. I am selling my car at the moment. I'm selling a, um, a vert, half parted out vert with the M54 B30 engine in it. And honestly, if somebody offered to swap me for a decent manual conversion for either my E36 or my E46, I would take it and I would chuck it in and I would film it and put it on the video. Why the fuck not? Yeah, it's so fucking hard, man. Like, 
I've always wanted to make a car channel and do like these kinds of videos, but it's like so fucking hard when you're broke, man. I'm not even kidding. It's like you work, you make all this money, but the cost of living is so fucked that it's like good luck, man. Good luck even affording to buy parts, you know, like it's a luxury, man. It's a luxury to be able to purchase parts and put it on your car. Now, I do have, right, I do have a DCT, right, gearbox that I picked up from the car yard. I picked it up for unbelievable price, $80 from the car yard for a DCT, seven speed transmission. And I wanna put that in my E36 coupe. That is my goal. I have the gearbox for an abnormally cheap price. And man, it like I still need to get like at least another six, seven grand worth of parts, and that's minimum. Um, fuck, my nose is so itchy, and I plan on doing it myself or with the help of a friend. It's going to be a pain in the ass, so hopefully I can save on the labour. Um, the straight, the swap should be pretty straightforward. I'm pretty keen on doing it. You know, I'm not even going to go into the um, JDM cars because it's like good luck, man. Good luck finding a JDM car for cheap. What is this? 6500. What the fuck is this? Let's have a look at this. 2016. What's what's wrong? Okay. Being involved in an accident. Okay. That's a shame. That sucks. By the looks, it's got the DCT transmission as well. Hmm. Uh, what is it? A six. Is it 520? Or five, well, I, fuck, I can't even fucking read that. Is it? A, I don't even know. Is it a diesel or some shit? I can't even fucking read that, man. Literally cannot read that. I love how they put, oh, market value is an excess 30K. Okay, cool. Like, who cares what the market value is? The value of your car is what it is right now, and it's fucked. Better off parting it out. If you want to sell the whole car, I don't, man, I don't think anybody who, like, nobody's going to buy this, even for 6,500. Especially, it doesn't seem like it has an N54 engine. The only good thing in this car is the DCT, in my opinion. And the few bits and bobs here, the interior. Like, I part cars sometimes, but so much effort. I, and with all the effort that you have to go through to part the car, you wouldn't be spending 6,500 on that, I can tell you that. <coughs> Fucking. <clears throat> Let's keep looking. What else have we got, guys? What else have we got? Hmm. Another 318 IS. Absurd prices. Absurd prices. Here we go. What's this? 318 five speed manual. But it's a sedan. Unfortunately, as much as I am a sedan owner, I am very, you know, aware that sedans are not worth nearly shit compared to a coupe. Um, most people just just don't want a sedan. It's the facts that the coupes hold their value a lot better. Now let's have a look at this one. Okay. E36, 318 IS. Okay, I'll wait on, but it's been swapped with a 328 drive train. Drive train, fucking hell. This is nice. M52 uh, B28 motor with the uh, M50 manifold. Uh, five speed ZF. Okay, that's good. M3 LSD with a reinforced rear end. Custom tuned, I assume that's to fit the uh, intake manifold. Uh, okay, it's got the chassis mount, shifter, engine, transmission, poly mounts. Stock shifter and mounts will come with the uh, sail. That looks all right. Aftermarket catch can. Aftermarket exhaust, M Sport body kit, aftermarket. So it's not a genuine M Sport body kit. That's unfortunate. 
Um, M3 mirrors, M3 spoiler. I'm guessing that they're probably not genuine either. It looks nice. It's the same color as my one, except my one's a real 328. I wish I had the ZF fucking gearbox, but the DCT would definitely be a lot more better. This has a nice white gray sort of interior. That looks pretty cool, but it looks like it doesn't match. It's like, usually if a seat is white, usually the fucking door cards will match it. So that tells me that it's either being swapped in there or some shit like that. Unless I'm not reading it and he mentioned that somewhere already. Grey leather M Sport seats. I'm guessing that he swapped them in there. It doesn't. It doesn't match. It's not. It's meant to have. It's meant to have matching door cards. I know that. It just doesn't sit right. I'm sure. I'm sure that it's meant to have matching door cards. Look, it's a nice car, guys, but it's a 318 IS on the title. I get that it has a nice, you know, drivetrain, the proper engine. It's basically a 328, sure. But in the end of the day, it's still a 318. And I don't, he's not, he ain't getting fucking 18 grand for that. There is no chance in hell. No chance in hell that is going to happen. Fuck my nose, did you? Hmm. I feel sorry for anybody who's young, who wants to get into owning a nice car. Um, good luck, man. <laughs> it's uh, pretty fucking hard these days. But what's, it's, it's like nobody's got money. So nobody's going to be able to afford any of this shit. It's, it's just the facts, man. Like, I'm trying to fucking sell a um, Toyota Camry at the moment. And I cannot even get 20... Uh, sorry, I cannot even get two grand for it. It's impossible. Hmm. I cannot even get two grand. And it's a pretty clean car. I mean, the paint's not the best. But driving-wise, it's fucking great. It feels amazing. Starts great. No issues. I fixed a bunch of shit on it. Changed the spark plugs, all new engine oil, everything. Still can't even get two grand for that. Yet these people here think that they are going to get fucking 18 grand for their 318 IS swap M52. <sighs> You're fucking dreaming. But hey, it's good for us, you know, who own the cars. See, I'm not complaining right because from my perspective it just means that the value of my car is going up which is good for me so you know i bought mine for three grand and it's a genuine fucking 328 so uh small flex right <laughs> i'm so glad i'm so fucking glad i got it I, like so cheap man i'm so fucking glad i can't even put the words how happy i am that i got that car so cheap same as my other e36 What else? You can't even get XR6s that cheap anymore. And the, XRC, the XR6s that you do come across, they're so fucking collapsed out. Let's have a look at this one. What have we got here? 1.5 grand. Probably has the rust in the boot like they all do, I'm guessing. Ah, oh, that body's absolutely fucking munted. But nothing that can't be fixed. Right. This has been up for sale for a while. Guys, I fucking live on the marketplace, right? I live on the marketplace, man. Like, I am looking for deals all the fucking time. Like, I'm on my phone. Refresh, 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 refresh. Every fucking 15 minutes, I'm on my fucking phone refreshing. Because you never know. Like, deals come so fast, man. Like, deals come so fast. It only takes five minutes just to fucking miss that deal. And that's it. Gone. Bro, I missed out on, man, I missed out on such a good deal. Not, not long ago, I saw a, it was a E46 330 uh, convertible, 
right? Perfect condition, had a uncommon color. It was like some sort of fucking blue turquoise sort of color. I can't quite remember. As I said, don't, don't quote me on fucking paint codes. I don't know shit about paint. But this one here, three grand. I almost fucking got it. I was so close. But this motherfucker lived an hour's drive away from me. And I'm like, bro, I can leave you a deposit. He's like, he's like, um, two grand deposit. I'm like, I ain't fucking sending two grand to some dude on the fucking internet whom I haven't even met, who doesn't even have a fucking profile picture. <sighs> Look, there's a risk I was not willing to take. Somebody else took it. Somebody else got that car. And not so long ago, not so long ago, I saw that car listed, sold for eight grand, eight grand fucking in less than a week. How fucking crazy is that? that? That motherfucker made like fucking five, six K profit or some shit. Cause I don't know how much, how cheap she got it for. Right. And it was a girl, a girl did it. A girl fucking flipped it. <laughs> so not only is a competition men, it's also against women too. Women do it too. That's probably a lot more uncommon, but they do do it. They flip cars as well. I really gotta stop fucking binge eating at like 3 a.m. in the morning. This is fucked. It's making my nose so fucking itchy, man. Crazy itchy. Okay. What else used to be a good car that was once affordable? We're going in BMWs a lot. There's a skyline there, 26 grand. R33. Uh, Way too expensive, man. R33 uh, GTST, so it's a turbo version. You know, back when I was young, right? Back when I was young, I'm still young, but back when I was younger, you used to be able to pick these up for like five, six grand. Five, six grand, guys. Five, six grand. And now, good luck getting one for less than 20. Impossible. The car market is so fucked here. You make some good money. Deals do pop up. You have to be ready. You want the deals. You have to be ready. Right. Now I've just been doing more like rims at the moment. I picked up a set of Crimson Sparkos the other day. Mm. I picked up a set of Crimson Sparkos. It's like a hundred bucks. And the dude was selling another set of um, Monza Japan rims as well. I got them both total, two hundred and seventy dollars. I gotta get the um, Sparco ones. I gotta get them sandblasted because they look like trash. If I can find a picture, I'll put it in the video when I edit it. Anyways, it's a nice looking skyline. I would love to own one, but at the same time, I don't care to own one. It's not really my type of car, I'm gonna be honest. I do, however, love an RX-7. I love the uh, RX-7s, FDs. They are so nice. Honestly, like, <clears throat> Car, like these cars, these Lancers, um, they're still reasonably affordable. You can get some good ones in manual. Um, they're not too bad, the coupes. 
That look kind of cool. Three point five grand. I mean, it's still pretty expensive for a piece of shit, but with the right mods and body kit and all the uh, little extras, they can be quite a cool little car. Honestly, they could be a very cool little car. But they're still too expensive. Still too expensive. Which sucks. Um, yeah. Let's see what this one looks like. I don't know how much this... Cash sale, three grand. Let's see what he's got on it. So he's got the body kit. Uh, not the front though, I don't believe. Don't ask me about Lancers. I don't know shit about Lancers. <sighs> 327,000 kilometers though. It's a lot. Look, I'm well aware that if you maintain a car and you look after it and you service it regularly, 300,000 kilometers is nothing. However, I would still avoid buying high K cars strictly based on the fact that just because I know that I would look after that car doesn't mean that they look after that car. See, when I bought my E46, the transmission was fucked. I had to swap that over. The oil filter was absolutely fucking disgusting. The Vanos was clogged up. I had to change. I actually found a cheap Vanos on Facebook, fully rebuilt for $50. Okay, guys, $50. Swap that in. It was very easy swap compared to the uh, M52 engines. Um, but there's tricks of doing the M52 engines without having to adjust the timing. But the uh, M54 is very easy to do with the Vanos, the dual Vanos. Swap that over, it was very easy, and um, change the oil, change the uh, gearbox, swapped up a few bushings, um, ball joint, and now the car's been very reliable, it's got like 250,000 kilometers on it, I literally changed every fluid in that car, you know, gearbox, oil, I've done the diff, diff fluid, I've done um, power steering fluid, I did literally everything man. Now that car's like my daily now. So that's why since I have had the E46, I started to fall in love with the car. It's a good car, man. Like I, I do not regret buying that car. Really, guys. <sighs> Nothing more masculine than a flower cup, right? I love this cup. I only use it because it's a massive, massive fucking cup. Almost finished the entire jug. Jasmine tea truly is fucking awesome. I love this tea. The only problem is it makes you, you know, piss so much, man. You know? So good, though. The best tea. Anyways, I'm uh, pretty bored now of talking about marketplace cars, so I'm going to end this video here, guys. Um, yeah, fun chat, fun chat. Make some more videos later on. Still trying to figure out how I even want to do videos on this channel yet. Not sure. It's um, hard, hard to figure out. I feel like, I feel like YouTube content is very much changing. It used to be, you know, it's like obviously podcasts are still very popular, but I don't know. I've noticed a lot of videos more like this popping up where you just talk, just be yourself, talk to the camera, say what you want to say. 
and um, people just like that now. I don't know, it's weird. I think I think there's a lot of fake shit going on in the world. I think people are sick of it. I think people just want a bit more authenticity, and um, I don't know. I think that like authentic style videos are now the way to go. So I'll post here and there. I'll post here and there on the uh, channel. Not sure what I'm gonna post. It's very hard to post shit about like doing upgrades and shit. Um, yeah, give me ideas. I mean, probably won't even get any fucking views for this video. That's fine. It's like second video ever. Cause normally I do like commentary stuff. So I don't know, like commentary videos are pretty fucking easy to pump out, especially on like MGTOW channels, man. They're like TikTok. TikTok channels, like, you know, reacting. Um, it gets very repetitive. It gets very boring. I just want to post the shit that I want to post, but everyone's like, oh, niche down, niche down. Oh, you got to, you know, find a niche and just stick to it and do it. It's like, man, I don't want to fucking stick to a niche, man. I don't want to stick to doing one specific thing, man. Like, I have so many interests. I get bored of shit very quickly. So it's like, I need to do what I want to do. But in the same time, I'll probably be punishing myself in the same sense because, you know, people like to watch what they want to watch, which is what interests them. But I don't know, I came across this other channel recently. Um, it's called Jacob fucking Jones. <laughs> He just sits on his camera and he just smokes cigarettes all day. And I find myself watching his content because I like that it's raw. You know what I mean? I like that it's unedited. I like that, you know, he just says the shit that he wants to say and people like it or they don't, but he just does it anyway. He just posts every fucking day. And he just smokes cigarettes, man. Like, it's crazy. This channel gets like so many views as well. Actually ridiculous how much this channel gets views. But um Yeah man. I have nothing else really to talk about. So as I four AM in the morning, so it's not like I can go outside and like, you know, walk around and be like, yo, here's my cars man, like here's my E thirty sixes, my E forty sixes. Nah. Just it's too fucking early for that. <laughs> but I, w I will I will do it. I will do it. It's not sure what I <laughs> don't know what the fuck I'm gonna make the videos about, man. I have no clue. I'll just post it as I go along. I'm probably gonna add um you know like electric electric scooters and electric skateboards and shit. I like electric stuff as well, man. I'm not a complete petrol head. I like electric cars and I also like electric skateboards, like scooters, uh one wheels, uni, uni wheels, they're pretty fucking cool. I love that shit, man. I love that shit. I've got two skateboards as well, so. I mean, I guess if it's got wheels, it's related, right? But, um, yeah, anyway, then. I'm gonna get off now. I'm gonna fucking chuck this video, put it on YouTube, and it will garner the few views that it gets, and that's cool. If you somehow, like, watch down to this much, like, fucking 40 minutes, man. You're crazy, dude. <laughs> You're crazy. You watch 40 minutes of this bullshit. I don't know what to tell you, bro. I really don't. <laughs> if you did, I appreciate it, though. I did. I really do appreciate it. But I doubt, I doubt many people are even going to get to this fucking intro. I doubt, I mean, sorry, outro. I doubt many people are even going to get past the first two minutes and that's totally fine. I'm just going to keep posting shit. That's all I want to do. So I'm going to post shit that I want to post and that's it. Anyway, guys, cheers. I'm going to go to bed now. <laughs>